It's been a long time since I did my first impressions video of the LEGO Education Spike Prime set. Back then, it was revolutionary. I loved the new direction that LEGO Robotics was heading with the brighter colors and the simpler shapes and the faster performance. But after two and a half years, does all of that still hold up? Let's find out in my long-term review. Now, a lot of you may not know that I actually run a couple of robotic centers here in Sydney, Australia. And unlike a school, our education centers use robotics all the time, which means that the Spike Prime box sees a lot of action. If you want a more detailed review of the Spike Prime box compared with its predecessor, the EV3, then make sure you check out my original video over here. Now, I spend a lot of time making technology videos just like these, so if you find this information helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making videos, so I thank you in advance. Let's start with the hardware. As with all technology, the more you use it, the more wear and tear occurs with the system, and sometimes issues can creep up that we don't spot in the beginning. The good news is that as an education tool, Spike Prime hardware is fantastic. We have a total of about 20 of these sets in our classroom, and some of the hubs have gone through hundreds of charge cycles, and they're still going strong. However, one major problem we have had was with this one Lego piece that ruins everything. It's this tiny little wire clip. Now, these wire clips are used for holding down cables of the Spike Prime motors and sensors, which would normally be a great idea, but unfortunately I found that after prolonged use, uh, they can actually cause damage to the wires, especially if you have younger students who aren't as careful when they're attaching and detaching these pieces. Over the last two and a half years, I've had to replace a handful of these motors. So a big shout out to LEGO Education for being able to help me with uh, replacing my motors when they get broken. Uh, their staff are always excellent. Make sure you contact them if you ever run into a hardware issue. The way I get around it now is to remove the wire clips from my Spike Prime sets and ask students to uh, ignore the instructions that include the wire clip parts or to build their own wire management solution. The motors and sensors all function really well after a few years. And what I found really surprising was the force sensor and how resilient it is compared with the EV3 touch sensor. The old sensor tends to get loose and the spring can fall out after prolonged use. But with the Spike Prime's force sensor, it is super reliable and works just as well now as it did in the beginning. As with all LEGO products, the LEGO plastic elements can withstand the test of time. No matter how many times you construct and deconstruct these parts, they'll never lose tension and rarely ever break. Just remember to wash the parts regularly with warm soapy water to ensure the best experience for your students. Next, let's look at the Spike Prime software, or the Spike app as it is now called. In the last year, LEGO Education has been really active in providing updates to the Spike software, making new features and adding new lesson plans. Although most of this content is uh, focused on the Spike Essential side of things, the Spike Prime materials have also seen some new content. Another exciting feature is the new web-based app, which means you no longer have to install this Spike app on your school computers anymore. All you need is an internet connection, and it's a really great feature, uh, and you have got to check it out if you have a really busy classroom. In general, I find that the app provides more variety than the old EV3 software, and most importantly, it provides better connectivity and more intuitive uh, coding environments. With the release of Spike App version 3 just around the corner, the system will have an even easier connection experience with an even faster startup speed. So that is really important when you're running these sets in the classroom environment. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creator Academy started making LEGO education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They're an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 20 years experience working with LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you check out the More Educational website. 
What do you think? What is your long-term experience with LEGO Education Spike Prime? Be sure to leave your comment in the comment section below. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.